Hello and welcome to today's show. I'm your host, Mario Collins, and of course, this is Sport TV, your number one leading sports channel. And yes, we are in the second week of the English Premier League season 2024 2025, and we have several matches lined up for you this coming weekend, of course, for the English Premier League season 2024. 2025 and before we move on to that i would just like to give you the results of the english premier league which took place last weekend and before we do that remember to view like subscribe and share and also drop a comment to the comment section down below let's get interactive across all social media platforms and on facebook how much more Collins. Now let's get the show started and Manchester United managed to open the account for the season 2024-2025 with a win against Fulham the match which took place at Old Trafford Stadium Manchester United getting their lone goal which was scored by the new acquisition that is Joshua Zakazi and in the second match we saw that Liverpool under Anslot uh, the tactician who is currently the Liverpool head coach who managed to replace Jürgen Klopp this season managed to see off Ipswich by two goals to nil and of course Mohamed Salah was among the top scorers for Liverpool in that match and let's move on to Emirates and see that Inkele Teta got his first win for the season 2024-2025 when Arsenal managed to dispatch Wolves Ampton at Emirates Stadium, the goals were scored by Bukai Osaka and the very informed Kai Havert, which gave Ateta the win against Gary O'Neill at Emirates Stadium. And on the other side, we saw that Brentford under Fabian Hasler managed to see off Everton by three goals to nil. Remember that Everton is under. Sean Dyke and the other match that took place Newcastle managed to despite Southampton by by a single goal in that match Eddie Howe getting his first win of the season remember that Newcastle was shown a record in the first half in that match but somehow they managed to steady their ship and they went on to win that match. Let's move on swiftly to the other match which pitted Nottingham Forest against Bournemouth and in this match Bournemouth managed to get a win against Nottingham Forest and it ended in favour of Bournemouth 2 goals to 1 against Nottingham. Remember that Nottingham is currently under the former Wolves tactician that is Nono Esporito and Bournemouth is under the Spanish tactician that is Ariola. Let's move on to West Ham and New and Villa. The match ended 2-1 in favour of Aston Villa. Remember that Villa are under the tutelage and guidance of Unai Emery. And on the other side, West Ham is under the Spanish tactician that is former Real Madrid tactician Lepetu Gui. Let's move on to Brentford and Brentford managed to see off Crystal Palace by two goals to one. Remember that Brentford is under Thomas Frank, who is their head coach. And finally, the match of the weekend, week one, was against Chelsea and Manchester City. And that match was played at Stamford Bridge and Manchester City managed to come up victors by winning two goals to one. And of course, the goals were scored by, of course, Haaland and Kovacic, which gave Manchester City the win against Chelsea. Remember that Chelsea is under a new manager in the name of Moresca, and on the other side, Manchester City is under Pep Guardiola. Well, those are the matches that took place in the week one of the English Premier League season 2024-2025. And of course, now we are moving to the matches that are going to take place this weekend. This is the second week of the English Premier League season 2024-2025 and we see that uh, Brighton will be up again against Manchester United, a match which will be played at home ground of Brighton which is American Stadium, that is the match which will be played on Saturday and Crystal Palace will be up against West Ham at their home ground, Selhurst. Park and Fulham on the other side will be up against Leicester City, a match which will be played in the home ground of Fulham, which is Craven Cottage. Manchester City will be up against Ipswich at 
it had Stadium and of course Southampton, which is a newly promoted team for this season 2024-2025, will be up against Nottingham Forest, a match which will be played at St. Mary Stadium. This is the home ground for Southampton, and of course Tottenham will be up against Everton, the match which will be played at London Stadium, and finally the last match of all of Saturday will be Aston Villa against Arsenal. This match will be played at Villa Park. Remember that these are two tacticians who have both. Uh, Unai Emery was once an Arsenal tactician, and it will be very interesting to see how he's going to handle Mikel Ateta, who is the current Arsenal tactician. And those are the matches that are going to take place this Saturday and on Sunday we only have three matches on the card and Bournemouth will be up against a new castle a match which will be played at Vitality Stadium and Wolves will be up against Chelsea a match which will be played at Molinix Stadium and finally the last match of the weekend is pitting Liverpool against Brentford a match which is going to be played at Anfield Stadium. Well those are the matches that we have on lineup for you this same round and those are the matches that are on card to take place for Saturday and Sunday in the English Premier League season 2024-2025. Well, as you keep on watching and following, let's keep on interacting across all social media platforms, especially on Facebook, how much more callings. Remember also to view, like, subscribe and share and also drop a comment on the comment section down below as for me and the rest of my crew it's bye bye for now let's do this again next time when we do meet a mirror smaller callings it has been a pleasure having you on board